Hi, my name is Jeff Avery and I'm an academic advisor in the Sheridan School of Computer Science in the Faculty of Mathematics. And uh, this is just a quick introductory video to talk to you a little bit about CS Advising, who we are, um, what services we offer, what we can help you with. So um, the sort of obvious thing, I guess, is who are we, right? So, um, so within the university as a whole, every program, every department has an academic advisor who's responsible for helping, helping to coordinate students into their courses. So if you take economics courses, there's an economics advisor who can help you with their courses, for example. Music, there's a music advisor or an arts advisor. Um, mathematics is quite large and computer science is quite a large school within mathematics. So instead of one or two advisors, we have nine, 10, 11, um, sort of depending on how you count them. So there's, there's quite, a, quite a few of us. And our primary responsibility is um, to do um, academic planning and academic help for undergraduate students in CS courses. Um, that's primarily what we do. So um, I'm gonna flip over a little bit here and we'll, I'll kind of sketch out um, a little bit more what that means and um, the different units that are involved. Here we are. So academic advisors, CS advisors, this is us here on the left. Um, the primary means to contact us is by email, csadvisor at cs.ewaterloo.ca. That sort of goes around to the team, so that's a quick and easy way to get in touch with us. So like I said, we're primarily responsible for academic advising. So what do we do? We do things like course planning. You know, what courses should I take next towards my degree? Um, if you're a CS major student, we're, we're your primary advisors for your program. So we can help you with things like admissions into CS courses, questions about specific courses, questions about your program, the BCS program or the BMath and CS. And if you're interested in specializations, AI option, data science, bioinformatics, any of the many options we offer, we're the people to contact about those things as well. Um, it's worth noting that even if you're not a computer science major student, you may want to deal with us if you're taking um, a minor in computer science. You know, if you're doing a different degree, but you're trying to do a minor in CS, we manage those courses as well. So you may end up talking to us for those things. So in short, we're responsible for anything related to CS courses but we're just CS courses, okay? As a CS advisor, I can't give you advice on, I can't give you detailed advice, I should say, on courses outside of computer science. And that even applies to math, you know, like things like statistics and so on, we don't manage, they're managed by other advisors. So there's another group I, that you should be aware of, that's the math undergrad office here on the right-hand side. Um, what, what do they do? They're sort of the, the primary responsibility for math students as a whole. So there's a large number of people working there, advisors and administrators, um, people who are extremely knowledgeable about the programs within mathematics, and they have responsibility for a lot of courses that aren't CS. So if you're a CS student and you have questions about you know, the stats courses you're taking or your first year math courses, they're actually the group that you will probably want to talk to. Okay, so you can, you can email them at matthewo at uwaterloo.ca or visit them in non-COVID times at MCE 4022, there's a large office there. Um, one exception to what I've just said, if even if you're a CS student, if you're in 1A, your first term in the fall coming in, you go to the math undergrad office for everything, even for your CS courses in your 1A term, because there's such a large number of incoming students in the fall every year that the math undergrad office is gracious enough to handle all of that and try to coordinate that. Um, so again, first year, you're, you're going to deal with the math undergrad office for everything uh, related to your courses and CS courses and CS advisors typically are, we'll say 1B and later is typically when you talk to us. Okay. Um, the third group you need to be aware of, it's a smaller group, but it's a very important group here is the math co-op office. Um, so basically they're your, your interface between SICA, the, the co-op, um, group <laughs> and, and the institution at the university and the faculty of mathematics. They sort of sit between those things and they help our students navigate through co-op. So questions about co-op, questions about things like sequence changes, taking courses during co-op, those types of things, um, they're the people you should really talk to. They're experts when it comes to co-op. So that's primarily it. Those are the groups that you're going to work with, okay? And like I said, if you're a, a CS major student or you're taking a CS minor and you want to talk to us about the academics related to those things, again, the CS advisors, us, were the, the people you should probably go to for those, those uh, activities. So one more thing I want to, I want to point out is um, online resources for advising. So if you go to the top-level CS page, that's cs.uwaterloo.ca, that's sort of top level computer science. There's tons of information from this top level about 
computer science in general, about the programs and so on. If you want information on advising, you can go to current undergraduates down the sidebar here. And you'll see there's a link here for academic advising. This will take you to a page which has got a great deal of information about advising in general. So questions about enrolling into courses, um, questions about um, course selection, other processes and policies. You'll find quite a bit of information on this page. This page may look slightly different when you get to it. We're sort of revising it at the moment. Um, but this is, again, sort of how you're going to navigate to this thing and how you get that information. Um, the, the important thing here is how you get in contact with us. This is really what I want to point out here. So there's, again, two primary ways you can contact us. The main one is through this email address that I already pointed out, csadvisor at cs.uwaterloo.ca. I strongly encourage you to use this. Um, it's sort of round robins to the team, so the emails are distributed, which makes it a little easier for us to manage. Um, plus, frankly, you're likely to get a quick response if you email us, and it's something that's relatively simple to, to, uh, to ask. Um, but if you don't want to do that for whatever reason, your situation's more complicated, or you just want to talk to somebody, we also have daily CS Advisor office hours. So normally through the term, if this was a regular term, um, and we were on campus, normally what you would do is you would come and visit us in the, the, the CS Advising office between 2 and 3.30, and we would help you out that way. Um, due to COVID, we're not on campus anymore, right? We're all working remotely, at least at the moment, at least at the time I'm recording this video. So we've moved to online advising hours instead. So what that means is um, you still go online to that website. Um, the day you want to meet us, you get a ticket. It's basically just a spot in line, so we know what order to sort of deal with people. And what we'll do is we can contact you through Microsoft Teams um, through your university ID, and we can either have an audio call or a video call that way. Uh, we've been doing this for a couple months at this point in COVID, and it's worked extremely well. Um, and it has the advantage that you don't have to be physically here for us to talk ab about things. So I would encourage you to do that, do that right? Either email us or um, book a time, and we're more than happy to talk to you about anything. Um, although our primary purpose is academics and academic advising, um, I'd like to encourage you to talk to us anytime, any, any issues you might have. Um, there's certainly resources around campus that can help you with practically anything you can think of, but sometimes it could be hard to figure out who to talk to and where to go. So, um, you know, if you're not sure who to talk to, by all means, reach out to us and we're happy to help you to the best of our ability and as well as to sort of guide you into what other uh, resources are available to you. So I hope this is helpful and I, uh, I hope to see you all in advising. Thank you.